Apologize to Namde Kano. Declare state of emergency in Katuna. Omokri to Buhari. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Here I will tell you the truth the way it is. According to one of those who has continued to castigate him on the call in the past, Omokri has asked President Muhammad Buhari to apologize to Namde Kano, leader of the Indian people of Biafra, IPOP. And declare state of emergency in Kaduna State. This was part of those who has continued to castigate Namde Kano and his group. In life, whatever man saw, he will reap. They will all regret the atrocities they committed against the innocent man. Who tell them to change and they refuse to change. And this is what you are seeing today. All his prophecies have come to pass. And Nigeria will continue to see what is happening until they release him. And they ask him for forgiveness. He did not commit any crime. He is a man who is fighting for freedom. So why should somebody detain him to date? And I believe some people today <laughs> who are even Biafrans are very happy that he's in DSS custody, suffering. I'm telling you the truth. What is happening? Because they want to be relevant. Because they want to put themselves in the front when they have nothing to offer. Just that as he has come without shame to expose himself by telling his friend Buhari to listen to the Kana and ask him for forgiveness. That is how everybody who has who is against this gentleman will one day regret what they have done. May by that time they will not see a chance to ask for forgiveness. Shame, shame to Nigerian government. Shame to everybody who are against Namde Kano. Shame to those who pretend so much as if they care for him while they don't care. They don't reason, they don't understand. They will prefer to exaggerate. They will prefer to attack you because you are telling them the truth. Children who have not seen anything. We have to say the things the way it is. Omokri is one of the head of Namde Kano, but all of a sudden he has come out to tell Buhari government to apologize to Namde Kano, free him, and if possible, he should declare state of emergency in Kaduna State. Because of what is happening there. This is actually the latest news to tell you that all the calamities they have caused in this contraction is not chasing them. How can a man openly who calls himself Tinibu select a man who happens to be one of the terrorists before. If you believe me, anybody who is a terrorist is always a terrorist, no matter whatever they claim, repentant, book around, repentant, janjawi, whatever they call it. They remain terrorists because some madness is not cured. People are beginning to understand that Mazen Namdekano is not a simple man. Like you think. He, has, he was called by God. And every prophecy he has prophesied has come to pass. And those of them who are doing everything possible to frustrate him. To continue to detain him in DSS dungeon. Because they want to see if they can succeed in turning the beer France To start doing something else has fair on arrival. 
You can deceive some people sometimes, but cannot deceive everybody at the time. This is why people like us are here to always shout out whenever things like this is going on. Biafra restoration is a dundee. Nobody can stop it. But don't use something that is not important to spoil it for us. Because people have sacrificed their life in this struggle. Some lose their parents. Some lose their brothers. Some lose their sisters. Some lo lost their, their uncle. And the only Hamadike we have is suffering Jesus because after he had lost everything so dear to him. Whatever man so he will reap. Anybody who is against Namdekano, who wants to remain in Jesus' custody because of his gain, what he will gain. Because he wants to convince others to know him before he could come at that person who would die shame for death. Go and market one place. In life, things come gradually. Things don't happen that way. It comes gradually. And we must continue. We must continue to fight for the release of Namdekano. We must continue to call British government to release him because they are the ones, the upper hand, holding him in their sex custody. Buhari have a problem in his brain. And this is why he continued to pretend as if he doesn't know anything. But the truth is this. He knows what he's doing. Why the, his kinsmen continue to deceive him to keep a man who has not committed any crime in DSS dungeon. They allow terrorists coming from our borders to take over the country because they are one. That is why they don't care if anything is happening or anything is not happening. People are suffering in this contraction. This is why we need a freedom. This is why we need a referendum in Ballon Bones. As people who deserve their right, their God-given right and a right that is enshrined in the United Nations chapter. This is what we have to continue to do to the end of time. Biafra must be restored. But we should not in any way cause problems that we cannot be able to handle. When I, what I mean by we cannot be able to handle it is because this. It's not about you causing problems and running away. And others will be key for it. It's about your standing. And the way the bullet for others, those you claim you are here to protect. This is my life. The kind of life I believe. When you continue to deceive others, believe me, one day, everything will change and you are going to regret it. Master Nandekano, we must fight for him until he is released. And we pray that God see us through. J. Piafra.